Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Proper. You know, if the unfed half-wave is my favorite antenna, the Delta Loop is a close second. And I've built some. I've built one for 6 meters and I built one for 30 meters. The impedance of a Delta Loop is around 120 ohms. And you can feed it different ways. Uh, you can use either a balloon or you can use a 75 ohm cable of a quarter wave. Now for my 6 meter antenna, uh, I use a quarter wave. It's a pretty short cable, 75 ohms, and uh, it works quite well. Uh, on the 30 meter antenna, I tried to use a uh, 75 ohm cable, and maybe it wasn't quite the correct length, but it didn't work, uh, or not well at all. So I used a, a 4 to 1 balloon, and uh, that worked. Uh, I got much better results. But the best way to feed a, a delta loop is to use a 2 to 1 balloon because, of course, 120 ohms divided by 2, you get 60, very close to 50, and that's the key. The balanced side is the loop itself, it's a full wave long, and the unbalanced side is the coax cable. So I'm going to build a 2 to 1 balloon, and I have a T. 130-2 toroid so those are uh, powdered iron cores and uh, I just happen to have one left <laughs> so Peter OE7 OPJ from Austria is letting me use his image uh, which shows the construction of the balloon and uh, it's better than what I would have made so <laughs> thanks Peter it does show the different toroids you can use with the number of turns and that's what we're going to build Okay, so I have my T130-2, 0.7 millimeter wire. I'll cut a piece of it, maybe a couple feet. I'll start like this, under, that's already one turn, and I'll go 12 turns around, going this way. Two turns, I'm going to space them a bit, because another wire is going to be right next to it. Six, seven... We always count the turns on the inside of the toroid, never on the outside. 12 turns. I'm going to even out the spacing a little bit so it looks nice and even. And now let's do the uh, second winding. This one is going to be a little shorter, so that's going to be 6 turns. Uh, half of 12, of course, we're dividing by 2. The second winding, I'm going to start right here, right next to the first turn here. Like this, right next to the other turns, so they're going to be uh, touching basically. They're insulated because the wire has enamel coating. Now I have two turns, and now I have six turns. You'll notice that none of the wires are crossing. Okay, now the slightly tricky part. The end of the 12 turn winding here is going to be connected to the beginning of the second winding here, the six turns. So I'll solder them right here between this one and this one. I take the enamel off and now those two wires are ready to be soldered together. I'm going to put a little bit of solder on them first, put them right next to one another, solder them together and that's what we get. This wire here is going to the center of the BNC and the point we soldered here is going to the ground. So I'll have to add a wire right here. I'll solder the center of the BNC and the center of the BNC here will be, uh, there will be a wire that will connect actually to the loop. So we'll add it right now. So the BNC has two wires on it. One, well the center of the BNC has two wires, the one coming from under the toroid here, that was the beginning of our 12 turns and the one that's going to go, the gray one that's going to go to the uh, to the loop. Of course I'm going to have to unsolder this later because the nut is here on the BNC and I'm going to make a 3D printed box which will be a separate video. Um, so I have to take the nut off, put that in a box and resolder it later but this is just for testing. I already put some solder on those on that wire. What I want to do now, since I want those wires to be really close together, is put a bit of hot glue on them to keep them uh, touching. I'm using tweezers to keep them together and I'll put the hot glue on. 
Okay, this here need a good squeeze. Wait that it cools down a bit. And let's not forget the underside. My six meter Delta loop antenna has a BNC adapter, but I'll solder the wires directly on these. I want to compare the 75 ohm matching with the uh, two to one balloon matching. Balloon. <laughs> and before leaving, I put a 100 ohm resistor here on the output to simulate the antenna. And I'm going to test it with the antenna analyzer. It does look very good from 80 to 15 meters. But as soon as you go above 21 megahertz, not so much, especially not on six meters, not a good sign. All right, so we are at the Col de Vence and I have my VRM5080 with a battery here. I have a voltage converter, 12 to 24 volts, solar panel, although I'm not quite sure it's producing much, but here's my Delta loop with the 75 ohm quarter wave uh, matching uh, coax. And of course, it's attached here to the triangle, and that's a delta loop. So I'm going to try the uh, 75 ohm matching first. I'll test it with the antenna analyzer, and then I'll switch to my uh, balloon, the uh, 2 to 1 balloon. All right, so here's the uh, 2 to 1 balloon, and it's ready to install. Of course, it's starting to rain, so <laughs> hopefully it's not going to last. Uh, let's put this antenna up. CQ, 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 ici F4 Whisky, Bravo Yankee, F4 WBY, Foxtrot 4 Whisky, Bravo Yankee, over. Bonjour, ici Gilles, F4 Whisky, Bravo Yankee, F4 WBY, qui se signale sur le 20806 et sur le 51500 FM, 51500 FM. Pas de souci, ça passe très très fort, hein. je crois qu'il n'y a, a pas de problème, puisque bon, si tu as en vue du col, évidemment, ça doit, ça doit poser aucun souci. Hein. En plus, j'ai 50 watts, là, donc, euh, dans la Delta Loop, et euh, bah voilà, je pense que tu dois m'entendre assez bien, à toi. Euh, ok, so this guy euh, hears me euh, fine. Euh, oui, c'est peut-être ça, je suis sur la turbie, donc s'il a pointé de l'autre côté. No, that's David, so he doesn't get me, ok. But the other Quatre guy gets me. <laughs> Il est dans une autre location, mais as far as the other one. Robert, je crois que c'est Robert qui, est, euh, qui rentre à la maison. 8 BLX. Hein. Retour à toi, so, euh, il y a Victorian. Le Delta Loop est bidirectional, donc so vous devez bouger l'antenne. Donc il y a Victorian Key, opérateur Phil. Et les amitiés à F8 BLX, Robert, me semble-t-il. Je ne sais pas si c'est compliqué. Je ne sais plus si c'est sur 100 watts euh, le e-com. Je ne sais plus si c'est sur 100 watts. C'est compliqué, les gars. Je ne sais pas qui est parlé avec qui. Maybe we'll start uh, something on 51500 in the region. <laughs> they started the conversation and I'm not part of it. <laughs> It's just so funny. It just shows that sometimes, you know, uh, people don't use a frequency, and but when you coach them to it, uh, it all of a sudden it happens, you know. And and I think it's important to use six meters because nobody uses six meters FM, and you know, you don't use it, you lose it. F4 whiskey, bravo Yankee. Very high modulation, very good.
Ok, super, il hein. bah, y a du monde, hein. c'est excellent. <rire> Je suis très content d'avoir lancé ça. Euh, ici donc F4 Whisky Bravo Yankee euh, au Col de Vence. Avec, euh, alors je suis en train de tester une Delta Loop sur 6 mètres évidemment hein, euh, avec un ballon 2 pour 1 et un, ma radio c'est un Racal VRM 5080 donc une radio militaire de, de char d'assaut donc en FM seulement hein, voilà c'est pour ça que j'appelle en, en FM en, sur 51 500 parce que bah, je n'ai que la FM et voilà, ça fait un moment que j'essaye un peu de, ben, de populariser un peu le 6 mètres FM sur la région. Hein. D'ailleurs, je suis en train de faire une vidéo sur YouTube. Vous allez pouvoir voir, hein. euh, chercher Radio Prepper euh, sur YouTube, hein. P-R-E-P-P-E-R. -E -E voilà, donc j'ai entendu Roland, je ne sais pas si David est encore là, je ne sais pas si Robert m'entend, je ne sais pas qui d'autre est là, donc euh, je sais qu'il y a du monde. Mais euh, ben voilà, je suis très content, alors euh, si... <rire> allez-y, euh, à tour de rôle <rire> de F4WBY. Euh... Ok, donc c'est Robert, c'est ça, euh, qui me reçoit bien. C'est bien ça, grâce. Oui, oui, affirmatif. Hein. C'est presque 58. Ah, bah super. Hein. Oui, je sais que David a des difficultés. Hein. Euh, Roland, euh, habituellement, me reçoit bien. Donc, euh, euh, Roland, tu me reçois Affirmatif. Euh, 4 000 qui m'envoient qui. Bonjour Gilles. Bonjour Robert, 8 BLX. Euh, donc, euh, ouais, content de te retrouver là sur le 6 mètres. FM. Euh, donc, je te, je te reçois 59. 59. 59. Euh, yeah, baby. Voilà. Donc, euh, Alain, je lui passe pas de, de report. And all my friends have left. <laughs> I'm the last one. I'm the last one here. Euh, voilà, euh, Gilles. Je vais repasser à, à Alain, F5 SPJ pour le QSO, F6. Alain. Alain, also. Another, I, I've talked to him before. Allez, bonne soirée de Gilles, F4, Whisky, Bravo, Yankee, et peut-être à samedi sur le 51 500 FM. Et je suis polarisé vertical. Allez, bonne soirée, à bientôt. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. That was a long QSO, long conversation on 6 meters FM. Of course, I called on the local repeater uh, to get people, but you know, sometimes that's how it starts. Uh, or someone sees you on the waterfall and they see a signal and they, they check it out and they realize it's FM. And uh, really happy about the antenna. Unfortunately, I couldn't. Uh, I'm going to turn this off. Unfortunately, I couldn't uh, compare the uh, 75 ohm cable, the quarter wave, to the balloon, the two, uh, two to one, uh, because uh, there's a problem with the cable. I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's the connection, the connector, or uh, I don't know. But uh, the SWR was super high, and I know this antenna worked before. I had maybe 1.5 to one, 1.7 to one, just like the balloon, actually, uh, about the same SWR. But I know this balloon is. Uh, <laughs> I always have problem pronouncing that. Uh, I know it's it from the test I did with the uh, 100 ohm resistor. It works best between uh, well at least 80 to 15 meters. After that, SWR goes up. But apparently, it does work on six meters. Now, I'm probably going to have to change the uh, the length of the the wire a little bit. Uh, I, I need to look on the graph and uh, uh, see uh, if I have to lengthen it or shorten it and uh, just to make sure that I have the best match possible but I think this balloon once I put it in a box uh, is going to work much better and of course now I have to build more delta loops you know what else I, I'm just I have no choice guys I have to build more delta loops so stay tuned have a good one <laughs>